In today's video, I want to run you guys through some awesome new PlayStation 4 physical game deals. Newegg has recently really become the spot to go in terms of great game deals, and today they deliver once again. We've got great deals on a wide variety of new game releases, including titles such as The Division 2, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. They're actually running two sales right now. One that encompasses a batch of items for 20% off, and then they're also running a 50% off promo code. We'll leave all the promo codes and information and links in the description box down below so you can follow along along that way. Also outside of that, Amazon has got a great deal on Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition that's really been holding up in price, but now you can get it a little bit cheaper and you guys know how I feel about that game if you've been watching our videos. Also, Best Buy's got some great deals on a couple of Japanese titles, Dragon's Crown Pro Battle Hardened Edition as well as Steins Gate Elite, and if you are looking to re-up your PlayStation Plus subscription, you can get a one-year subscription for $45. That's also from Newegg. We'll talk that at the end of this video. First up, so Newegg is also running a pair of sales, one encompassing a lot of items at 20% off and then another one at 50% off. Let's look at the 20% off one first as there's a lot of interesting stuff on sale. Not a huge sale, however, The Division 2 is listed at $49.99, meaning with this promo code, you will get the game for $39.99. The Division 2 was received really well, however, being that it is a Ubisoft game, I had talked about this ahead of its release, no matter how high quality of a Ubisoft game it is, even if it sells really well, even if the game is received as a masterclass in game development, it will go on sale very quickly. That's just been Ubisoft MO recently, and we're seeing it with The Division 2, but don't get it twisted, like I said, not indicative of the game's quality level, The Division 2 is an awesome multiplayer game. If you have a couple of friends to play this game with, man, it is such a great time, and fundamentally, what you see in the game already now what a month and a half after its release is so good and we know that Ubisoft is going to be committed to this game for the next year we already have a roadmap of content and chances are they're going to be committed to the game a long after that the first division title was a game that turned out in one state at launch it was mediocre and then it turned out to be very good by the end of it the division 2 is already very good so by the end of the division 2's life I imagine it'll just continue to grow as an incredibly compelling multiplayer experience but if I had to assess the game for what's offered right now now, it is definitely worth a pickup. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is also listed at $54.99, so with that 20% off promo code, you'll end up getting the game for $44. Not a phenomenal deal on Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, however, this has been holding up in price, given that it only released, what, two months ago? That's not all too surprising. From software games tend to hold up in price for a little bit. Look at a game like Dark Souls 3. That game is still holding up in price, especially if you want a physical copy. Sekiro was received incredibly well. I'm sure if you guys are a fan of the FromSoft games, if you're a fan of Soulsborne, you probably already played Sekiro, you probably already bought the game, but if not, $44 is worth a spin. They also have DualShock 4 wireless controllers, and wireless controllers I've always thought were obscenely expensive. Sometimes you're paying $65 for these controllers. I mean, come on. Back in the PS2 days, we were paying $29.99 for controllers, and obviously controllers have gotten better. They're wireless now, but they also have gotten so much more expensive. You got the touchpad in there as well. At least right now, they're listed at $55, and with that promo code, you'll end up getting them for $44. They have a wide variety of different colors and variations as well. Well, they've got the classic controller, they've got a blue camouflage controller, a gold controller. So check them out for yourself. They've also got the Sony Gold wireless headset, so you can pick that up as well. A couple of other deals as a part of the 20% off discount. I do see Marvel Spider-Man, that's down to $32. God of War is down to $32. Resident Evil 2 is down to $40. That's a great deal, although we have been seeing that pretty regularly. As far as The Division 2 is concerned, they also do have the Gold Steelbook Edition for 110, 20% off of that, if my math is correct, would be $88. Pretty expensive for The Division 2, but nonetheless wanted to mention that given that it is a really good game. They also do have open boxes of the PlayStation VR, the Creed Rise to Glory and Super Hot VR bundle, and then they also have the Borderlands 2 VR and Beat Saber bundle. Those are 330 The 20% off discount would knock off $66. If I do the math right now, I believe that's $267. Don't quote me on that as I literally just did that in my head. But nonetheless, if you want VR, that's not a bad buy. Probably would recommend the Borderlands 2 and Beat Saber bundle over that not quite sure how the open box variant of that works given that beat saber is a digital download code i imagine you wouldn't get beat saber so that's a little bit of a bummer but nonetheless if you're saving all that money it still might be worth it all right so those are all of the deals as a part of the 20 percent off discount sale the better deals are probably as a part of the 50 percent off discount sale that they're running right now kingdom hearts 3 is down to 29.99 of course that is tremendous a great jrpg would recommend you guys to play the earlier games first before you dive into that but 30 dollars for that is quite good 
good. That's the cheapest I've seen that game for. Red Dead Redemption 2 is available for $30, given the fact that this got quite a bit of attention. As a part of the Villains Takeover sale, $30 for a physical copy is quite good. Final Fantasy 15 Royal Edition can be had for $15. That's a very good deal. Given that Final Fantasy 15 is a game that I paid $60 for back in 2016 when it came out in the Royal Edition, is really that refined version we should have gotten from the get-go. And now you're getting it a quarter of the initial price. Hey, that's pretty incredible. $15 for that. If you are just looking for a quality open-world RPG with a nonsensical story, because really that's what you're getting, Final Fantasy 15 is a good buy. Dead or Alive 6 is available for $30. Another game that's been plummeting in price pretty quickly, but nonetheless, $30 for that is pretty good. Soul Calibur 6 is down to $15. That is an awesome deal. Soul Calibur 6 is one of my favorite fighting games of this generation. Maybe it's because Geralt of Rivia is in there and I'm such a Witcher nut hugger, but nonetheless, Soul Calibur 6 I think is an awesome game. The customizability is top-notch in all the content you get into the game. Even if you are the kind of gamer that's looking for a more accessible fighting game, I feel like you find that in Soul Calibur 6. And $15 for the game is outstanding. For Honor Marching Fire Edition is down to $20. We've seen that cheaper, but given that the PlayStation Store is actually uh, selling this game for a little bit more expensive, $20 for that isn't all too bad. Destiny 2 Forsaken can be had for $15. Battlefield 5 is down to $20. Wow, that is a great deal on that. Black Ops 4 is down to $25. Anthem Legion of Dawn Edition can be had for $35, which isn't all too bad. Fallout 76 for $20. Let's not even talk about that anymore before I get dusted in the comments section. Jump Force can be had in $29.99. Another game I've been, you know, a little bit controversially positive about. A game that definitely has more style than substance, and if you're looking for a lot of substance, you're definitely not going to find it there. But if you're a fan of all that anime and manga and you want a stylish fighting game, it's actually not bad if you can get it on the cheap. A couple of other deals are available as well. Overwatch Game of the Year Edition can be had for $17.50. That's not a bad deal, and a couple of others are available as well. Again, link to both those sales will be in the description box down below. A lot of good stuff there. Whether it be The Division 2 for $40, Kingdom Hearts 3 for $30, Final Fantasy XV Royal Edition for $15. If you have an Xbox One, I do see Spiral Reignited Trilogy. That could be had for $15. That's great as well. With these new egg sales, a lot of great deals, but a lot of the times we do see a lot of repeats. Like, we've seen Kingdom Hearts 3 down to $30. We've seen RDR 2 down to $30. It'd be nice if they could add a little bit more variety in these sales. That would be great, but we do see some alterations. For example, Soul Calibur 6 for $15 is definitely a new low on that game, and that's an easy recommendation. BF5 for $20 is great. And a lot of great deals to be had, so again, links to those in the description box below. Outside of that, some other deals are also available. Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition is available over on Amazon, down to $30, without a doubt the cheapest I've seen TOV for. I love this JRPG. I think it's one of the best JRPGs of the, I can't say of the last decade, because this is originally over a decade old, but nonetheless, the Tales of games generally are very similar to one another. From a gameplay standpoint and design standpoint, what really sets them apart from one another is the storytelling and the characters and some of the minute differences. In the case of Tales of Vesperia, what it offers you is a lot of content. This has so much content to it, and with this being the definitive version that was released in Japan but never stateside prior to this release, that means even more additional content with all the content being voice acted as well, so that's great. There is a little bit of a jarringness given that some of the new voice acting is actually done by a little bit of a voice actor. You actually don't notice it unless someone points it out, so I might have completely ruined the game for some of you guys. But yeah, I feel like it's something that should be noted before you actually buy the game because you might just pick up on it yourself and be like, what the hell is going on? But that's why that is. But the game itself is great. I love the cast of characters. I think it has one of the most engaging main characters in a Japanese RPG that you'll come across. He's a little bit nonchalant. He's not your typical zero to hero archetype. And he's just a very likable character and the entire cast altogether is very likable. So definitely give that a look if you're looking for a new JRPG. $30 for it is the cheapest I've seen thus far. Best Buy's also got some good deals. Dragon's Crown Pro Battle Hardened Edition is down to $18. That's a really good buy on that. A game that originally dropped last year for $50 and I was very vocal about that game being overpriced but now at $18 it's a much more palatable pickup and I would give it a look. Steins Gate Elite the visual novel for one of the greatest anime ever released. It's great. And Steins Gate, the visual novel, is of course where the anime came from. So if you watched the anime and really enjoyed it, but you want a more in-depth look into the world of Steins Gate, the visual novel really offers that. Elite is a refined version. Also includes some scenes from the anime interspersed in there. Just 
Bear in mind that this is a very lengthy game. If you want the true ending, there's so much to do. But it's a game you can invest a lot of time into. It is $20 off for $40, so that's pretty good. And lastly, you can get a PlayStation Plus one-year membership card for $45 over on Newegg as well after a promo code. Pretty good deal, given that if you do need to re-up your one-year membership, this is as good of a deal as you're going to come across until Black Friday. During Black Friday time, you can usually get it for around $40 flat. But I know a lot of you guys do complain about the PlayStation Plus offerings, and for the month of May, I think some of those complaints are definitely warranted. But nonetheless, it stings a little bit less when you're paying, what, $3 and change a month instead of, God forbid, $10 month by month, or even $60 a year. Shouldn't be paying all that money. You should be paying at most $45. Ideally, again, re-up every Black Friday for $40. But nonetheless, if you need to re-up right now, $45 isn't bad. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, links to everything will be in the description box down below. Whether you're looking for deals on The Division 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, Red Dead Redemption 2, a lot of great deals available right now tov discounted on amazon dragon's crown pro battle hardened edition for 18 is great on best buy steins gate elite for 40 and ps plus for 45 can't go wrong with that now it's going to conclude this video sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.